Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, it's something really cool for you. It's going to be a video about top of the page bid low range versus top of the page bid high range. So this is really important. And this kind of is a tool that you can use in Keyword Planner. I shouldn't say a tool. I should say a metric that will allow you to know where to set your bids at, right? If you have a new campaign, how to set your bids at, how to set your max clicks, all of that really good stuff. So you can get results fast. All right, without knowing these numbers, you don't know what to bid to get results fast. And this could drag out for weeks of you guessing what your bid should be. So today we're gonna learn how to do that. Short video, there's really not much to this, but the first thing you're gonna do is go over into your Google Ads account. We're gonna come under Tools, Keyword Planner, all right? So you can do this with me if you have a campaign that you're building right now. We're gonna do Discover New Keywords. Now what we're going to do here, this is important, okay? We're going to choose the top three theme keywords of the campaign. So for today's example, I'm going to build a cam campaign for, or at least in, you know, in theory, we're gonna build a campaign for a dumpster rental company. So we're gonna build a Google Ads campaign for a dumpster rental client. So those three theme keywords are gonna be dumpster rental. Again, these are high level keywords for the campaign. You wanna think of your main keywords you wanna go after. Dumpster rental near me and rent, if I can spell right, rent a dumpster. All right, so I have my three keywords here, my three themes. You could do up to five. It's really dependent on what you want to do. But that's where you're going to do to find your initial bids, okay? So we're going to hit get results. You'll see here we have our keywords right here. Now, this is really important, guys. Pay attention. If you don't see the columns I have, you're going to have to add them. So how you do that, you're going to go over to columns right here, click that, drop down, custom, there's a little edit pencil icon. You're going to click that. You're going to come under all columns and you're going to add average monthly searches, competition, add impression share, top of the page bid, low range, top of the page bid, high range. Okay. Really, really important. You're going to hit apply. So I already have that, so I don't have to do that. So here, and it's going to give me a bunch of keyword ideas based off of my initial keywords, too. So you'll know what everything's going to cost. So top of the page bid low range is what it sounds like, right? If you hover over it, it's going to give you an example of what Google says it is. It's you know what people have historically paid on the lower end for your keywords cost per click. So you can see here, top of the page bid low range for dumpster rental is $2.49. The high range is ten dollars okay now high range you can attribute this to essentially paying more to be at the top of google okay so this is the absolute ceiling that people are paying to be at the top of google so when you're deciding what you you should bid on your campaigns you want to find a healthy mixture obviously we're not going to do set our max clicks at a cap at two dollars and fifty cents because we're going to get no traffic it's going to choke and we don't want to do that so you want to go somewhere in the middle. That's how you should really set your bids. Honestly, I in our agency setting, I try to go closer towards the, the top. So if I was actually building this campaign right now, not for my dumpster rental ad group and my dumpster rental near me ad group, I'm probably going to go with, for this ad group, I'm probably going to go with about $8.50 or $8 max CPC. If I'm running max clicks, that'll set my bid limit at that. At least, you know, we can do the ad group or campaign. And then for this one, I'll go closer to $9 because you want to make sure you don't set it too low because then you're going to get no traffic and the campaign is going to choke and your clients are going to be like, where the hell is my leads, right? So we can't get leads without traffic. So that's how you're going to want to use top of the page bid, low range and high range to find what you should set your bids at. This is a great metric, guys, that a lot of people don't even bother to look at. So make sure when you're building your ad groups, you're doing this ad group by ad group and seeing what your top of the page bid range should be set your bids accordingly hey hold on guys while i have you here i want you to watch the next video popping up it's a q a i did with our google premier partner rep this is a rep that you only get when you're in a premier partner program with google ads which only one percent of agencies in the world are so i grilled her with questions some of the answers are ridiculous um shocking to say the least but you guys should watch it it's really really good if you're into google ads it's popping up right now so make sure you go watch that should be, should be the next video popping up right now.